Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliet, and this is my channel, Mama Tried. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my September favorites. I've never done a video like this before, but I'm really excited to because I love binge watching these types of videos. And it really inspires me to change up my products, try different things, and gives you a little bit something different than just reading reviews on Amazon. So I'm really excited to just go ahead and dive into this. So let's do it. I know I'm late on this trend. I know that I am. Don't come at me, okay? But this CeraVe, I think that's how you say it, daily moisturizing lotion, mm, it's really good. And it's really lightweight. There's no fragrance in it. And since purchasing this guy, I have purchased a lot of things from this brand. Like, a lot, a lot. And I'm pretty much obsessed with it. But I'm not going to be sharing everything that I've purchased from this brand because I haven't been using it that long. Hopefully, if this video does well and you like this type of video, I'll make one next month and explain how I liked them or if I liked them. The next thing is going to be... CeraVe as well, but it is the sunscreen. I just use a tiny, tiny bit to put on my face because I like to take Luxie to the park in the morning sometimes and walk or we play outside. And I'm really trying to focus on my skincare. I did purchase a lot more of the CeraVe and I really like it because it's super gentle on your skin. There's no fragrances, there's no weird ingredients. So I'll let you know how I like the rest of the things, but the sunscreen works really well with any sunscreen when you put it on and you're outside, you're gonna feel sweaty and gross. I just put a little bit on and it goes a really long way. So this is good stuff and this is for your face, by the way. Next is going to be my favorite lotion, which is the Hemp's lotion. My best friend got this for me as a birthday present, I'm pretty sure, and my birthday is in February and it's October and this is how much I have left. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I use it pretty much every day and I love it. And this one smells so good. It's the pomegranate one. I don't usually like pomegranate stuff, but that one smells pretty good. Now the rest of the things, they're not gonna be in any order. They're just kind of like random things, so bear with me. I have been focusing on my health, mental health, physical health. I've just been working on myself, you know? And so I've been going to the gym pretty much daily, working out, trying to do the best that I can for my body because I wanna be the best version of me that I can for me, for my husband, for my daughter, for my family. So let me stop with my talking. I ramble, I know I ramble. It, that's why it takes me so long to edit videos. With going back to the gym, my favorite leggings. I love Gymshark. I still love Gymshark, but I need to place another order. I just need to figure out what all I like from them first before I go ahead and place an order. But I got these from either my mother-in-law or my sister-in-law for Christmas. And they're the Victoria's Secret leggings and they have pockets on the side. I have since purchased another pair and they're beautiful, but they're dirty right now. They're so comfortable. They fit me perfect. They come up to the perfect height for me. They're a tiny bit long. These are, but I purchased another one that were a different length. So those fit me just perfect. But these leggings, I've had them since Christmas and they don't, I mean, they still look brand new. And I know Victoria's Secret things, they hold up, they really do. I really like that these have big pockets on both sides, like they're big. I can fit my phone in there, I can fit my keys, I can fit my mask. I'm just really digging leggings with pockets. I'm not sure if Gymshark has leggings with pockets. I need to look into that. If you know, let me know in the comments because I am obsessed with the pockets right now. I'll definitely be purchasing more of these for sure, they're awesome. My next thing is going to be Scentsy. So I love Scentsy, I really do. There's a couple of scents that I use. Stefano is very sensitive to different smells, so I can't just get all the different floral things or fruity smelling things. I have to get very specific ones, but one that we both can agree on that we really, really love is the Weathered Leather by Scentsy. It just, 
I don't even know. I love it all year round, but especially in the fall. It smells like a Western store or something in here. It just smells really, really good. Weathered leather is one of my favorite scents ever. Not just by Scentsy, but favorite smells ever. So there's that. And if you need a Scentsy girl, I'll link mine. I'm obsessed with, you know I love Crocs. Look at these. Do you see these teeny tiny Crocs? They're the easiest thing with a toddler. I know we're coming into colder weather and I'll probably have to say goodbye to Crocs for a while, but these are so easy. So easy. You just slide on the back and they're good to go. You don't have to tie. You don't have to put Velcro stuff on. I love the baby Crocs. Love them. I didn't want to drag all of these bows out, but just take my word for it, okay? Just, just take my word for it. If you have a little girl, I will link these down below. I mean, these bows are phenomenal. I don't even remember how much they were, but it was very inexpensive. So these little piggy bows, I call them, little pigtail bows. So I do Lexi's hair like this and I put her little bows in here. Bows. If you're a girl mom, you know, bows are expensive. I'm talking like if you want the boutique bows, you're looking at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, even more for one bow, okay? These are little pigtail bows. They've got little clips on the back, which are perfect. And they come in like every color you could ever want. And I'm not even joking. So I, I know that the big bows are so cute. If you live in Texas or you're Southern or whatever, you always want your baby to be wearing a huge bow. But no, I'm obsessed with these. I really, really am. They come in every color. It's a pack that comes in every color. And I can't rave enough. I'm honestly just shocked at the quality of the bows for the price. So I'll find the link, link it down below for you. But also I wanna let you know, if you purchase things from my Amazon links, I may get a commission from them. I have never received any money from Amazon because no one ever clicks the links. They just look it up on their own, which is fine. You do whatever you want. But if you really want to help a girl out, please buy them from my links because that way I can get a small commission from them. Like I said, I've never made anything from Amazon before, but I'd really like to, you know, if you love me and you want to buy it, please use my link, please. Love ya. Let's move on. This is one of the most bougie things I have ever purchased and I'm not a buyer. Like I don't get depressed, get on my phone and just buy stuff. That's not me. I'm very practical. I always get things on sale, so on and so forth. This little scalp massager right here is one of the most bougie, most amazing things ever. So it's got little silicone I don't even know, silicone ends on it. I just use it with shampoo in my hair and just move it in circles, do it on my neck. It feels like I'm at a spa, like I'm just in my shower and I don't know how I ever showered. I don't know how I ever washed my hair without this guy. Like seriously, seriously, just do yourself a favor, buy it. If you have a gift that you need to buy somebody soon, birthday, Christmas, whatever, buy them this, just do it. Just do it. Listen to me, okay? Listen to me. Like I said, I'm not really a shopaholic. I just, I love quality and that's it. The next thing is going to be this little scrubby. This came in a two pack. I got it from Walmart. I'm gonna see if Amazon has them too. I'm sure that they do and they're probably cheaper than Walmart. But this is a giant scrubby. This replaced my loofah. You know, COVID made me really realize how gross the world really is. And loofahs are gross. They hold bacteria. They probably have mold in them. I don't know, but they're gross. There's a little knob on it and this thing suctions onto your shower. So it will dry, get all the germies out of there. So what I do is I'll just put my body wash on here and scrub so it exfoliates and it's practical. I don't know what to say. I love it. I really do. You put your body wash on and then you scrub, okay? You scrub. The first thing I do when I come home from the gym in the morning is scrub the crap out of myself because I don't wanna touch my baby girl with any germs on me. So I'm scrubbing my hands, I'm scrubbing underneath my nails. This thing is amazing. Ditch the loofah, throw it away, buy this right now. 
This is, I don't know if I'll be able to find the link for it. I bought it at Marshall's, just being honest with you guys. But if I do, I will link it. If I don't, I'll tell you I can't find it. But it is the Morphe Frenemy Brontour. I needed a new like bronzer slash contour. This guy is awesome, okay? Look at the little, I don't know. I don't know what shade you are, okay? But for my skin tone, this works out perfectly. It's, it's beautiful. It's the perfect shade for me. I just put it on and then I blend her out. Face looks chiseled from it and let me tell you, I'm not naturally chiseled, okay? So, if you're looking for a new bronzer, that's your girl. Another bougie item. I'll have to thank my husband for this one. This eyelash curler. I, I love it. I didn't know if I was gonna love it, but I do. And it says Chanel on it. I'm probably never gonna get it to focus on it. Anyway, it says Chanel on it and it's bougie. Maybe, maybe not. This Chanel eyelash curler makes my eyelashes like I've used the Tarte one, which used to be my favorite until I met this guy. It's $35, and I think the Tarte one is like $25 or so, but this is the best eyelash curler I have ever used. I've had these for a while. They come highly recommended on Amazon. It is the Vita Lip Rose Hip Oil Lip Gloss. It also comes in cocoa butter and some other things. This lip gloss, it is so moisturizing. It makes your lips look amazing. It started to get a little bit cooler here and my lips, they know, okay? When it starts getting just a little bit cold, they like to chap so bad that I look ridiculous and I have red, flaky, disgusting lips. So I, I mean, I've tried everything in the past. This works. I put like a lot on before I go to bed and my lips just soak it on up and, and it's really, really cheap, like super cheap. Just, it comes in a three pack, I'm pretty sure. Maybe more, maybe less now. It's been a while since I've bought that. Worth it. This is what I use to do Luxie's hair. So I wet it first, obviously, in the morning, and then I'll put just a tiny bit in my hands, go like this, and run it through her hair because her hair is so fine. It's just like, <laughs> I mean, seriously, it is the most like <laughs> hair ever, and it just sticks right up. And so this is the only thing so far that I have found that has helped it. I got this at Walmart. I want to say it was 98 cents for the entire thing. If I can find it on Amazon, I'll link it for you. If not, it's at Walmart for 98 cents. It's called the Super Wet Maximum Hold Gel and it's clear. This stuff's really good. I really do like it. I have really been enjoying meal planning. I've done this for a while, but sometimes I lose my way. But I can't lose my way when it's right on my fridge. It's really cute. I mean, it is. It says weekly meal plan. Yes, you guys, this is everything I'm having for lunch and dinner and breakfast this week. But it also has a little spot where you can tear off a shopping list, which I think is fabulous. And it just has these huge magnets on the back. It's very sturdy. And I want to say it will last you a year. This really is amazing. It keeps me on track. I love it. Next is this planner. Isn't it cute? I got this from Marshalls too, and it's just a good little planner. This planner gives you the entire month on two pages, and then it goes week by week, and then you can put notes over here, and it's also got a bullet style uh, little area, so I'm really enjoying this, and it's keeping me on track. I love this planner, I really do. I have purchased this foundation now for the fourth time. It is very affordable. It is the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I use the shade F5. I really don't want to get this on my white comforter, but I want to show you. Do you see this? It's got a little application wand and you can get everything out of there really well. I like it. It's not cakey. 
You can build it if you want to. I usually don't, but I really, really like that foundation. I probably won't switch again until they stop making it. I'm late to the game with this one too. I'm really late. It's the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer matte finish. I picked this up at Walmart. I'm sure I can link it on Amazon too. Yeah, there we go. I love this stuff. My best friend has been trying to get me to use it forever, but I wanted to go ahead and get rid of the other concealer that I had. Now that I've used all that up and I've switched, I don't know if I'll ever go back because this stuff is fabulous. I got the shade Light Beige, just in case if you were wondering. This guy's empty. I don't know how I feel about this brand. It's the Simple brand. I mean, I'm sure it's fine. It says no artificial perfume or color, no harsh chemicals. And I just used this to remove my makeup. I did purchase the Garnier. Garnier? Garnier. Garnier. Garnier? Garnier. Gar it really did the job. I just wanted to try another brand. So I'll let you know how the other one is next month. But that Simple brand, it works pretty well. And I picked that up at Marshall's as well. Y'all know I love Marshall's. Marshall's for every need. If they sold, if it was a grocery store, I would never need to go anywhere else. Just Marshall's. So moving on to the next thing, Luxie has eczema and it flares up. I don't know if it's food. I don't know if it's weather. I don't know what it is, but I have tried so many body washes on her. I'm not even joking. I've tried probably every brand you could think of. Someone mentioned a while back that I should try the Hello Bello from Walmart, and I did. This stuff smells amazing. It's the Soothing Vanilla Apricot. It smells so good. I just can't stop kissing Luxie after I give her a bath. And on top of it smelling good, it's not irritating her skin at all. We've used this much so far, so... I would say that we've used it enough times to know if it was going to give her a rash or anything like that. This stuff is awesome. Definitely not letting it go. I want to try all of the other stuff by Hello Bello for her because it's just really good. This one is almost empty. I've used this brand, the SGX NYC um, dry shampoo. I want to say this is probably my third bottle of it. I'm not a big like, ooh, I like this dry shampoo, I don't like this one. I just buy whatever's on sale or whatever's cheap. I'll just be honest with you. But this dry shampoo does work pretty well. It does leave a white cast, but a lot of people don't use dry shampoo how you're supposed to. And I didn't know this until somebody told me. So let me go ahead and tell you. When you use dry shampoo, you're supposed to use it the night before, first of all. So you're supposed to go in, section off your hair, whatever, and spray it in there, and then massage your scalp with your hands, brush it through, and then the next morning, overnight, I guess, this stuff has absorbed all of the oil in your hair, and I'm a oily-haired girl, and it just, it really works for me, so that stuff's good, and it was $4.99 at Marshall's, just saying. This Starbucks cup that my best friend Shana got me. I love it. I've taken this thing everywhere since the day she's given it to me. I it it helps me drink more water. I know it sounds stupid, but <sighs> it's insulated too. But if you have a cute cup that you just love and you can take it around with you and it's kind of like a little accessory too, you're going to drink more water. You just are. Big fan of that. Really big fan. So thanks Shay if you're watching this. This is the next thing. It's the Ghost Pre-Workout. Um, I don't care for the taste of this one, but I really do like what it does for me. So this is the flavor Sour Black Cherry. What happened was I was in a hurry and I ran in GNC because I needed some new pre-workout. I needed something and I had no time. And so I walked in, saw the guy working, and I was like, hey, what's your favorite pre-workout? And he showed me this one, and I was like, okay, cool, I want it. That's what happened. So it's not my favorite, but it does the job. If you have any recommendations for a pre-workout, please let me know, because I don't like the taste of this one, but I really do like the pump that it gives me, the energy. It's not too over the top, not too crazy. I don't like hulk it up in the gym or anything, but it gives me the motivation that I need. It's sometimes 4.30 in the morning, so 
does the job. The next thing is going to be this Extend BCAAs from Scavation? Scavation? Scavation. I can't pronounce anything today, but I have used this brand BCAAs for a really long time. This is their old packaging because when I was pregnant and breastfeeding, I did not use any supplements at all, so I didn't use my BCAAs, and I really missed them, I'll tell you that. But this is expired, probably shouldn't be drinking it, but I am because I don't waste things. I don't know if that just makes me cheap or like if I'm helping the environment. Maybe a little of both, but I love the grape flavor. It's my favorite. I've tried the watermelon one. There's a kiwi one and there's, I think a cherry one, but so far the grape is my favorite. I can't wait till I'm through with this so I can not worry about drinking expired BCAAs, but I think that it still does the job. And if you don't know what BCAAs are, they're branch chain amino acids and they help recovery. When you're working out, you break down your muscles and they rebuild and this just helps you recover faster. And so in the very beginning, when you're super, super sore, you can drink this throughout the day. It tastes like Kool-Aid, there's no sugar, in it there's no calories no carb it just helps rebuild your muscles faster and it also gives you electrolytes I'm pretty sure yeah gives you electrolytes so this stuff is awesome if you're not drinking BCAAs and you're working out and you're getting really sore I would highly suggest starting using BCAAs because they pretty much changed the game for me so BCAAs Love to sleep right now and I wanted to show you something that's a part of my September favorites but it's in her room and I really don't want to wake her up so I'll just tell you. It is the Origel um, teething liquid stuff. It comes in two tubes, one's for daytime and one's for nighttime. And Luxie loves it so much. I don't know if it's, it just gives her immediate relief or if it tastes good, I'm not sure. Brushing Loxie's teeth has never been a walk in the park. It really hasn't. She does not like brushing her teeth. She doesn't like me brushing her teeth. So I thought that using this stuff was going to be fun to say the least. Luxie literally opens her mouth so I can put it in there and she's so still. And after I put it on her gum, she goes, yum. She's getting the four teeth, um, like your fang teeth. She's getting those right now and She's been getting them for a long time and it looks very, very painful. And this is the only thing that seems to work. And so that's why I wanted to add this in my September favorites because if you have a teething child, go ahead and buy it. I will link that if I can find it on Amazon, but I purchased it at Walgreens if I can't. All right, that's everything for my September favorites. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button so that way I know that you like this video and I can continue to make more videos like this and it really helps support my channel. And also, if you will subscribe and join the Mama Tried Tribe, but also hit the bell notification because the way that YouTube does it is if you don't hit that, if you only subscribe, it'll show up as kind of like a temporary subscriber. And so if I post a new video, it's not going to alert you, it's not going to come up on your home page so if you hit that bell notification it will let you know whenever I post a new video but thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have an awesome day bye that scared the crap out of me my leg is completely numb I don't know how I'm ever gonna get up I'm too young for this I think am I dying oh my god it feels warm is my leg supposed to feel warm Oh. oh. Are you gonna fall off? Please don't. I need you. Wake up.